Hi everyone and welcome to your gentle beginner yoga flow. So this is a great practice for those of you that are new to yoga or for those of you whose bodies may want to move a little bit softer and approach the basics. So grab your yoga mat, feel free to grab a soft towel to pad the mat if your flooring is too hard and we'll get started shortly. Let's start the practice seated. And then I just want you to allow your legs to kind of reach out in front of you about shoulder width, hip space apart or so, and then just kind of push down into the ground so that your shoulders kind of lift up and you can sit up nice and straight. And we're just gonna kind of walk our body forward. And then don't get cozy there because I, then I want you to walk your body back up. And then do that twice more. So you're gonna walk the body forward. And then you're gonna gently walk the body back up. One more round, walk the body forward. And then walk the body back up. Good, ground the right foot, plant it. We're gonna take a simple twist to the right. So just left foot is flexed, toes up, heel down. And then take that nice little turn to the right, look over the right shoulder. So move your chin and line with your shoulder. And then exhale, switch a roo, right leg goes long, left knee comes in, ground the foot, right hand wraps, and then just place your left hand behind you, take a nice little rotation. Moving through the spine, so it's spinal rotation. And then you're gonna come back to center. Both legs are out in front of you, and I just kinda of want you to gently come forward one more time, and this time stay. And now depending on your tightness, you can tuck your chin, drop your head all the way. Maybe you grab your feet. And if you can't reach, that's okay. Maybe you hold the shins or the knees and then just close your eyes, breathing three, two, and one. Now gently bring the torso all the way up. You're gonna take your bum, scooch it forward a little bit, and I invite you to reach forward and activate your core lower for four, three, two, one. Plant your feet. Exhale, hug the right knee in. Give the leg a little love, straighten it to the sky, hold above or below your knee. So allow your hamstring to work as you gently pull the thigh into the stomach. And you can point and flex the toes on the right foot as well, maybe rolling through the ankle if it's tight. And then you're gonna give your right knee a big hug, exhale, plant the right foot, and then you're gonna pull this left knee in. So give it a big squeeze. And then exhale, straighten the leg. Gently tug it towards you. Three two, and one. Good, allow your feet to come together and your knees to open if this feels okay in your hips. And if it doesn't, remember you can slide your blocks underneath your knees or just extend your legs all the way out. But what this does is it helps open up through the pelvis and then rest your hands on your belly. Again, feel free to go straight legs and just close your eyes with me if you don't mind. And we'll take about three deep breaths here together. Gently breathing in and out quietly. Noticing as the breath starts to flow through the body and kind of how we're responding to that movement. And then on your next breath, you're gonna simply bring those legs together, take your time. And I want you to fully extend your legs. So maybe they were already extended if that felt better. Take both arms all the way over your head for a big stretch. Reach and point your toes, lengthen. And then gently pull both knees in. So move with ease, move with grace, give yourself that big hug. 
and then use the rocking on the spine to help you come up. We'll rock three times together as long as it feels safe. One, try not to rock back on your head. Two, should feel good on your back. And three. Now, before we stand up, I want you to sit cross-legged with me, please. And you're gonna take your right ear, drop it over to your right shoulder. Close your eyes if you want and just feel the space along the side of your neck. Exhale, roll your chin towards your chest, not all the way, but slightly in, which will give you an even deeper pull in the side of the neck than you had before. From there, bring your chin all the way through center. So let your head fall. You'll kind of see my ponytail just hang. And then we're gonna take our hands, grab our head, and literally pick up our head so our neck doesn't have to work. <laughs> and then let's do the other side. So left ear, left shoulder, or whichever side you didn't do before. Again, create room. So I can already feel when my ear falls over, it's like trying to go somewhere, but my neck is not allowing that to happen. And then from there, chin comes down to chest about halfway, no further. Big inhales, big exhales. Hold it. And then roll your chin all the way down to your chest. Let your head hang heavy. This time, gently put a little pressure on the back of your head. Let your elbows come in. And you're just going to pull down. Three, two. Let your head fall back into your hands. Let your elbows broaden. Lift your heart. Good. And then exhale. Let's find that transition to downward facing dog. So pivot. Step it back. Soft knees, lift your butt, stretch. On your next breath, take your feet, walk slowly up to your hands. So land in that forward bend. Exhale, fold forward. You're gonna rise up to stand, sweep your arms to the sky, and then rest your hands by your sides gently. Good. Bring your feet together if they're not already there. Sweep your arms up. And then exhale through heart center. Gently fold in. Take a flat back as you gaze forward. Exhale. Let's step to plank together. We're going to lower all the way down to our bellies with or without our knees. So slowly melt. Top of your feet come down. Push down to come up, so cobra. Hips are down, heart is open, and then we're gonna lower back to our belly. So slowly lower back down. And then repeat, press up. Come on, strong, strong arms. Even if those arms are feeling tired. Good, exhale, lower. Last time, take a big breath. Press, 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 press. And then that will take us through hands and knees back to child's pose for three breaths. So relaxing the muscles in the back of your body. Three. Two. And then rising the hands and knees. You're going to take your right arm, reach it forward. Take your left leg, reach it back. Hold. Three. Two. Switch sides, right hand down, left knee down, left arm forward, right leg back, hold, three, two, and then release. Now you're going to bring your hands up to your hips. I'm going to pivot on my mat because I want you to work long ways. So depending on how you're already set up, you might already be set up for that. Take one leg out, doesn't matter which leg. And then you're gonna slide your hand down your leg as you reach up and open for gate pose. So this is gonna feel really nice and create some space on the right side body. And then you're gonna exhale, pivot the weight to your right hand or left hand, whichever hand, whichever side you chose. And then raise your top arm up. So my shoulders are stacked, I'm on my bottom knee. 
And then if you want, you can lift up your leg. Hold three, two, put your foot down, push through your foot, and then you're gonna bring this top arm down so that it parallels your bottom hand. Bring your hands so they're next to each other and then push back. Three, you should feel that stretch, the top of your straight leg. Two, and then transition this to tabletop. So just move to hands and knees where you're gonna bump your hips a little bit left to right. Taking a few cat and cows, we're gonna inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck. One more time, inhale, look up. Good, and then exhale, tuck. So really round for me. Bring your hands back to your hips, same as we did before. Now step the opposite foot out in front of you. So pivot, step it out. Okay, now whichever side, obviously you didn't do before is the side you're on. And you're gonna slide your hand down the leg to start, gate pose. And then really work the straight leg. So what I'm doing here is I'm pushing through the feet, or the toes, excuse me, and my whole foot as much as I can. Three, two, and then I'm gonna slowly come up. I'm gonna place my palm down below my shoulder. I'm gonna keep the movement going with this top arm over the head. And then I'm really digging again through this straight leg, and this side's tighter for me so I can feel my body responding a little bit more as I reach and create space. Three, two, and then now we're gonna bring our hand down so it parallels. And you're gonna give me a little push with those hips. You'll notice how my hips kind of went from down to an up. And then look at those hands, bring your knee down to parallel, other knee meets it. And then again, we're grounded on our palms. We'll inhale to lift our chest up. We'll exhale to tuck. Beautiful. From here, downward facing dog. Find your transition. Bottoms up. We'll raise the right leg slowly on your inhale. So breathe in. Exhale, step the right foot forward. And just a little bit of movement here. We'll bend the right knee forward. Remember to put blocks under your hands if needed. And then exhale, pull the hips back. And we'll do that again. We'll bend the knee forward. Good, we'll pull the hips back. And then last time, I promise, bend forward. Give me that little pull back. Yes, yes, yes. And now bend forward into your front knee. Step the back foot up so that your feet are touching. Lift and lengthen your spine. Here's your flat back. Exhale, fold. Standing, reach and rise, arms up high. And then exhale through heart center, we fold. Lengthen. We'll step back to plank. It's only for the second time today, so step those feet back. And then we'll use our core strength to come all the way down to the belly. Good, tops of your feet down, inhale, cobra. So remember, this is fully straight arms and you can always come up about halfway. Exhale, lower. And if you're still feeling tight in your neck, maybe tuck the chin and just look down. Lower, one more like that. So I'm just gonna stare at the ground as I push up. And then exhale, child's pose. So take that bum, drive it back, put your head down, three. Two, let your body come through tabletop and then downward facing dog. We're gonna take our left leg up and away, reach it high and hold and stretch. Exhale, step forward. Good, just ease into this. So notice how the hips feel, sink forward and then pull back. Good, sink forward, and then pull back. One more time, sink forward. Now, this time, instead of stepping that right foot up, we're gonna take a turn to the right, just called a wide-legged forward fold. And I want you to look at those feet, turn them wide, 
and then exhale, fold in. So feel your upper body hang heavy over your lower body. This is an opportunity to slow down the breath, slow down the movement, feel the hamstrings. And then with soft knees, slowly come up, very slow and controlled. And then exhale, we're gonna slowly come back down and move through a twisting series. So hands to your low back for that nice little back bend at the top. And then exhale, make your way back down to the mat. Put your right hand down or left, we're gonna do both, below the shoulder, and then peel the opposite arm up to the sky. Create some room to stretch, three, Look up, two, and then lower your palm down, side two. We're going to inhale, peel open, stretch, reach, and release. Exhale, fold in. Good. On your next breath, with soft knees, rise all the way up. Take your time, inch by inch by inch. We'll make our way to the top of our mat, so pivot and step. Final standing back bend, reach up. And then exhale, we bow forward. Let's take a nice flat back together, so create a nice long spine. Third and final time in plank, meet me. Exhale, we find our bellies, three, two, one. One. We're going to stack our palms. You can put your chin down and then just roll through those hips a little bit. And then go ahead and drop one ear down, stretch out your neck. And then your other ear down, stretch out your neck. Beautiful, beautiful. Exhale, release your legs long on the mat. Good, soften. On your next breath, ground your hands under those shoulders, gently press up. And then we're gonna make our way through hands and knees and then back to seated like we did in the beginning. So we started off with that forward fold where we kind of melted and then slowly came back up. But this time we're just gonna fold forward and hold. So to make it a little bit more gentle, you can open the feet some or if you're really open, the feet can come together. Arms up. Reach and fold. So you're welcome to grab your feet if you have room. If you don't have room, don't force it. Just kind of do what works best for you, where you feel the stretch, where you feel the work. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Gently rise up, bone by bone by bone. And then scoot your bum forward. Arms out, little bit of core. Four, three, take your time. Two, and one. You're going to hug both knees to your chest at the same time, so give yourself some love. And then rock from side to side. And then we'll take our right ankle, we'll bring it across our left knee. And the goal is that this right knee can point out to the right, which is gonna help stretch the hip. And then you can reach for this left leg, or if this is enough, you can stay. Or if you want, you'll grab the leg and then pull in a little bit deeper. And then you can rock with me if you want a little bit side to side. Some people prefer to be still your call. And then exhale, switcheroo, other ankle crosses. We reach between the legs and around if you want or no need to hold on. Give me a little bit of a rock, a little bit of love side to side. Good. Hug it in a little bit more stretch. 
and then very carefully, you're gonna release both feet on the mat. And I want you to slowly elevate your hips. So start bridge pose. Core is tight, legs hug in, hips lift up, palms up or down, three. Two, hug those inner thighs together and then slowly come down for one. Let's do that again. So push your feet down as long as your back is feeling safe. Push the back of your head down and then lift, 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 lift. Strong hold right here. Hug those inner thighs together. Elevate your pelvis. Four. Three. Lifting two and lowering oh yes beautiful open mouth sigh so let a huge breath out and then we'll bring our knees in carefully which will bring us to happy baby where you can rock from side to side you can feel the hips open your groin stretch for three two and then just hold here close your eyes because it can feel really relaxing to just drive the knees apart pull them down towards your armpits feeling your feet face the sky as your toes pull back three two and then with your eyes closed, let those legs soften. Let them come all the way down to the mat. Let your right leg reach out and then your left leg reach out so that your toes are kind of falling apart. If you're chilly, grab that blanket, throw it over the body, maybe even over your eyes. And then let your palms be up here. This idea of receiving rest, a gentle movement, a sensation that allows you to be quiet in the mind and so much more. Deep breath in, deep exhale out. Full breath in, full breath out. One more time, take a big inhale. Exhale a nice sigh, let it be long and slow. And then you're gonna bend your knees. You're gonna curl to your right. So drop your knees in. Put your right arm underneath your head so you're in this nice little side shape. And then you're gonna press up from there to seated. So take your time. Close your eyes so you feel relaxed in your seat. It's the idea of kind of rolling out of this practice and into a new one. And bring your hands to heart center. I hope your body feels relaxed, your mind feels a little quieter, and that you feel wonderful after your movement. Thanks for joining and have a great day. Let's bow forward. Namaste. Nice job with your practice and hope you feel good.